Hi there, this is Unmesh from Pixim Perfect, and in this beginner tutorial, we're gonna learn how to resize multiple images all at once in Photoshop. Now, why would you want to resize your images? Maybe you just want to reduce the image file size, or maybe you want to upload them somewhere, or maybe you want to email them to somebody. There's a limit, for example, of 25 megabytes, so you have to make the images smaller, or maybe you want to upload them to your own website. So, for example, you're creating your website and you want your images to be 1500 pixels in width one after the other so you can use this method to batch process all of the images set them to the size that you want to so without any further ado let's get started To resize multiple images, follow these steps. Step number one, keep all images in one folder. We need to keep all of the images that we want to resize in just one folder. So here I have this folder called resize and inside of that, I have the images that I want to resize. Easy. Once you organize that, let's move to step number two. Step number two is open image processor inside of Photoshop. You don't have to open any of the images. So let's head over to Photoshop and inside of Photoshop, go to file, scripts, and image processor. Now image processor is pretty self-explanatory and this brings us to step number three. Dial in the settings that you want. So let's go through it one by one. So the first one is select the images to process. So click on select folder and select the folder that we earlier created remember with all of the images that we want to resize. So let's go to desktop it was resize hit OK. All right. You need to check include all subfolders if that folder has subfolder. For example, you have a folder called photos and inside of that you have travel, maybe fashion, maybe beauty or some folders like that, maybe cars. And inside of those folders, you have other images as well. If you want to include all of the images, then you need to check include all subfolders. Otherwise, the images won't show up. The next step is select location to save processed images. Where do you want to save the processed images? So I'm going to go ahead and click on select folder and desktop i will create one new folder click on new folder and let's name it resized resize with a d and let's select that folder select folder so we want to save that in that folder you can also check keep folder structure if you had subfolders and you want to maintain the same structure over here but we didn't have any subfolders it doesn't matter in this case the third one is file type which file type do you want to save it as do you want to save it as a psd TIFF or a JPEG. So you want to reduce the file size. So I'll save that as JPEG. Also, if you want to email them or you want to upload it to website, JPEG is the file type that you should be looking for. Next one is quality. The minimum quality is zero. Maximum is 12 in this case, in this area. However, as you increase the quality, the file size also increases. So for normal use, seven looks fine to me. All right. Also, make sure you check convert profile to sRGB because if you don't do that and your images are in, say, pro photo RGB and you upload them online somewhere, the colors go crazy. So you don't want that to happen. So leave it checked. The next one is resize to fit. And this is the core of this tutorial. Make sure this is checked. Otherwise, how will your image resize? So you might think if I type in 2000 by 2000 over here, Will my images become square? No, these are just the maximum values. Let's take a moment to understand that. For example, you have an image with 4000 width and 2000 height. So this is 4000, this is 2000, okay? So the images just have to match the criteria. So the height is 2000 and it is matching the maximum criteria. It says the maximum should be 2000. It's matching that. But the width is 2000, but the width of the image is 4000 maximum value is 2000. So what that will do is that it will make the 4000 2000 and by maintaining the aspect ratio, the 2000 will become 1000. So this will now become 1000 and this will become 2000. So this is just the maximum values of the width and the height. Okay. So for example, you have one more image with height 4000 and the width 2000. So the width is matching. Width is okay. 2000 is the maximum. It's no problem at all. But the height maximum 2000 we have dialed in. But the image has 4000 height. So it will make the height 2000. And as a result of that, the width will also become half 1000. So it maintains the aspect ratio. It just keeps in check the maximum values. Now 2000 is the value that I want. You can dial in any value that you desire to. And the fourth one is preferences. Do you want to run an action on it? Maybe you want to increase the contrast. Maybe you have created an action for a special effect. Do you want to run it through all of the images? So I'm going to keep it checked off. And by the way, I've created an action to include watermark in all of your images. So check that video out over here. Make sure you have include ICC profile checked. You can also leave it checked off. Doesn't really matter much run and that is the fourth step once you're ready hit run 
So let's hit run and Photoshop opens your image one by one and then processes each one of them according to the settings that you provided. In this case, we set them to resize it. Now it's resizing all of those images and the amount of time it takes totally depends upon the performance of your system. So it's still doing it. Let's wait for some time and three, two, one. Yeah, it has done it. Now let's go ahead and open up the resized folder. And we have one folder called JPEG because we chose JPEG. If you chose PSDs and TIFF as well, so you would have three folders. We have just one. So all of them are resized. Have a look at the size. If we go to properties and if we go to details, see 2000 by 1311. So 2000 was the maximum value. All right. Hit OK. And let's have a look at the file size. So the earlier one, the resize one was 68 megabytes and the resized this one. Have a look. 2.59 megabytes. Look at the difference. Now you can email it, upload it, do whatever you want and we are pretty much done. That's how you can resize your images. Hope this one helped you and if it did, make sure to give us a like and also do not forget to subscribe and not just subscribe, ring the bell so that you my friend don't miss a thing. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next one. Till then stay tuned and make sure that you keep creating.